Thank you very much. Um, so, I think we're all agreed that the web is a fantastic thing. You know, it's, uh, it means that you can instantly have a global marketplace for any product that you want to sell, and uh, it's a fantastic uh, educational and communication tool. Um, and really, just um, the things it's allowed us to do and see. Um, but people, people are conducting themselves really badly on the web, and I'm not just talking about phishing or online scams. Just in general, people are impolite, trollish, and really fucking rude on the web. Um, so I don't think this is a great way to sell yourself or your products. There's a much better way to get people's attention. Um, but what am I talking about? Fireworks or kidnapping? That doesn't really work on the web. Um, public nudity is good, but there's enough nudity on the web already. So I'm told. Um, but in my 10 years evangelizing open web standards, I found that generally just being nice works really well. Being courteous at all times, giving stuff away for free and helping people and uh, communicating clearly. And I'm going to go through a few of these ideas that I've collected in the last 10 years now. So um, make sure that all of your written communication is really impeccable and th because this really re uh, reflects on your integrity. And integrity is the most powerful tool you've got as an online promoter or evangelist. Um, and be appropriate. One thing I, I recommend is never use the word evangelism when evangelizing because it really sucks. <laughs> Um, never to end users because a lot of end users, especially the more religious ones, get confused and offended by the word evangelism in this context. Um, uh, don't leverage your synergies in public. Um, and also remember the World Wide Web is worldwide. Um, don't resort, resort to weird localized buzzwords and idiosyncrasies because a large proportion of your audience is not going to have the same language as you as their first language. So keep it as simple as possible and provide translations if you've got the facilities to do that. The next major tip I want to share is get your audience excited about your functionality, not your brand. Put the brand to the back of the bucket and just talk about how your products are actually useful to the user because brand spam gets very tiresome very, very quickly. And the converse of that is get your product developers excited about making your functionality better. I've seen too much in companies where you'll get developers that kind of see the user as a burden rather than a useful thing to have. It's like, we can't release these useful features because the fucking users won't be able to use them as well as we can, you know, and they're stupid. Um, <laughs> try, and, try and act as a feedback loop between yourself and, your, and uh, your users and developers to make them appreciate it more. Give cool stuff away for free, whether it's APIs or it's uh, JavaScript libraries or even things like MP3s. People really respect you for this. And again, it's more, more f uh, integrity for you. Help people in any um, forums that you can or any um, other methods of communication, mailing lists or whatever. Because um, again, people absolutely love it. It's, um, you know, it's more free stuff. It's your time and your knowledge. And this really gets you more in respect and integrity. Um, the only problem with this, of course, is that you're going to meet people that are going to give you shit when you're on this noble mission trying to go around um, helping people. So <laughs> you should always be chilled out which I'm good at. Um, so one phrase that I want to share is incidental marketing. This is the idea that you're never just doing the hard sell and pushing your brand and your product in people's faces. You're doing the marketing almost as like a sort of a side effect of what you're actually doing, which is just going around talking to people, just doing, doing things like footer, footer notes in your email to more information. Um, and eventually, they might say things like, wow, that opera guy helped me again. I like him. I might try their products. Or they might just try Firefox instead, but hey. Um, <laughs> So um, what's next? Um, the next thing is, it's really important, get your facts straight. The number of times I've seen someone try and sell something to me and I know more about the product than they do is just ridiculous, especially when you're talking to kind of, um, well, some hosting companies in the UK are terrible for this. Um, but that's also very important and reflects on your integrity. The next one, respect your competition. Because if you flame your competition, it does nothing except, except make you look stupid. And working with your competition, you can um, get a lot more innovation done, which leads to much better products. So being, working, being that I work for a browser vendor, this is really obvious. You know, we, we work together really well inside the W3C to create web technologies that people are using to build great stuff on the web. Um, and obviously, the W3C is a great gra ground within to do this. But I think this also works pretty well in other, comp other kind of companies and different standards. Um, and look what happened when we didn't work well together. You know, the browser wars were a really sucky, lame-ass time when all that it resulted in was having to make different, browser, different uh, versions of software for different browsers. And in the end of the day, it just hurt the users. So 
Last tip, be honest, admit when you fucked up. This is because if you don't admit it and try and sweep it under the carpet, people are just going to find out anyway. And if you admit it from the source, you can then start providing information on when fixes are going to be available and provide workarounds. Um, and I'm going to give you a real world example. There's a really specific bug in the way that Opera initially implemented web fonts, but we reported it straight away. We provided the workaround, and we also reported on when the fix came out. And uh, that's pretty much it for my talk. Thanks a lot, folks.